Hi guys, so Jadu Sen again with a new video. In this video, we are going to design a W shape column with pinch ends as shown in this figure. Here, the material is a STM A992. That means the yield strength FY is equal to 50 KSI. It is a W shape column and it has to carry an axial dead load of 140 kips and a live load of 420 kips. The column is 30 feet long and is pinned at top and bottom in both axes. The limit of the column size is 14 inch. As the problem is solved in allowable stress design, the applied load comes out to be 560 kips. So we have to select a column using manual table 4-1. The important thing is the parameter K for a pin connection, pin pin connection is 1. And this comes from table C, C, C dash C 2.2. Let us go to the code and see what is this parameter and what does it mean? When we go to table C dash C 2.2, it gives us approximate value of effective length factor, which is known as K. There are 12 conditions given. The first condition is when both N have fixed support, then the K value is only 0.5, but the recommended value for the design is 0.65. If one end is a pin, another one is fixed, then the K is 0.7 and the recommended value for K for design is 0.8. If one end is fixed, another is also fixed, but there is a sway, then in that case, value of K will be 1, but the recommended value for K will be 1.2. The fourth case is when both the ends have pin connections, then the recommended value is 1.0. The theoretical value is 1.0 and the recommended value is also 1.0. Fifth case is when one point is uh, one end is fixed and another is free, then the value for K is 2, but the recommended value is 2.1. And for this case also where the, this is the fixed end, another one is pinned and then the fixed end is moving or uh, there is a sway, then in that case also the K value is 2 theoretically but and recommended value is 2 also. So for this particular case what we are dealing is here is the case T where both the ends they are pinned so value of K is 1 same value of k is equal to 1 is used. And the effective length will be of course 30 feet. And from the table, the section selected is W14 by 132. Now let us check what stats is giving. So I have modeled this in a stat. Let us go to modeling uh, section. Here you can see the length is 30 meter, sorry, 30 feet. This dimension comes out to be 30 feet. The section assigned is W14 by 132. The loads are defined, dead load is equal to 140 kip, live load is 420 kip and a load combination, simple load combination is there. When we go to design 
phase, we see that we are using allowable stress design method and now what parameters we are defining here. That is very important. Yield strength, I am using the, the units of feet and kip. So, what I have done, I have multiplied 50 ksi by 144 to convert it into kip per square foot. Similarly, fu is also converted into kip per, per square foot. Ky as recommended by the code is taken 1. Ly and Lz both are 30, 30 which is the actual length. And let us run this problem and see what is the result from the start. There is no error, no warning, no notes. So, let us see if the member fails. All failed beams, no. No beam fails, this qualifies. If we see the output for the steel design, the ratio comes out to be 0.921. So, if we divide 560 kip by 0.921, the answer comes out to be something around 608 kip. And theoretically, the value calculated from the table is something around 30594 so which is very close that means whatever we have calculated from a stat this matches with the theoretical value the only point here what I will try to emphasize that the value of K is very important in the column design and definition of LY and LZ Hopefully, it will make you under clear. Uh, you you make it very clear that why whenever we design a column, we should always define these parameters very intelligently so that we will get the correct result. Hopefully, it will be helpful for your design work. Please do not forget to like it and subscribe my channel. Thank you very much.